Hey guys, it's Brad from BNT Catfishing. Today we're going to discuss the problems with circle hooks. Stick around. Hey guys, if you are like me, you started out bluegill fishing uh, and I later went to uh, becoming an avid bass fisherman. I fished often. Uh, you were either taught uh, or you learned quickly how to set those hooks. But with circle hooks, it's totally different. Don't be this guy. In circle hooks, what you want to do is you're allowing that fish to pick that hook up and that bait and uh, they're either holding it or running with it and when you see that setup when you see that rod tip going down that's when you want to take that reel and you want to reel down on it as quickly as possible you don't want to jerk back and set the hook uh, as you would do with the older hooks or the j hooks um, so that's something we don't want to do. Uh, reeling down on it is going to help ensure a proper hook set in the fish, okay? The, um, the other problem people are having is uh, the proper hook for the bait and the size fish you're going after. If you're going for larger fish and you're using uh, cut bait, then you're going to want a larger hook. This, for instance, is an 8 aught hook. You might go 10 or, or larger, but you want to make sure that your bait has enough space to set in here and there'll be comfortably enough room left to hook up in the fish's mouth, that you have not taken that whole space up with a big chunk of bait or a live bait. Make sure you're hooking these things up correctly and Give yourself plenty of room. If you want to step down to smaller fish or smaller baits, let's say we're using night crawlers, then maybe we're going down to a 5 aught hook or something smaller uh, that's going to fit on there and still give you plenty of hookup room uh, on this hook to, uh, to, to be set in that fish's mouth. Again, uh, that's highly important. Another important uh, thing you can do to help get more um, more fish in the boat uh, is to snail your hooks when you're hooking your line up. If you don't know how to do that, I will be posting a video at the end of this one that you can link on where I have done and shown a couple of different ways to show how to snail a hook. Uh, so be sure to catch that at the end of this show. Anyway, circle hooks, great, great, great for catfishing. Again, know the size for the bait and the fish that you're using. Make sure you, you pair that up nicely. Snail the hooks when tying the lines. And what you want to do, here's the new term, circle hooks, reel down on it. You got it. Circle hooks, reel down on it. You got it, guys. Hope that helps with the circle hook problem for some of you that you may have been having. These are great hooks. These tips which should help you hook up more fish and get them to the boat. You guys have a nice day. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up uh, and share this video with your friends. We'll see you later.